Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Al Cavadlo. Thanks for joining me for another edition of Ask Al. Today's first question comes from Ethan Allard, who writes, Hey, Al, I've just started watching your videos, and I'm still pretty new to progressive calisthenics. My biggest struggle is coming up with a good workout routine. I understand that progressive calisthenics is meant to be a long-term goal, but I'm leaving for Marine Basic in a few months and want to know if you have recommendations for workout regimens that yield quicker results. Well, thanks for the comment. I'm excited for you to begin your calisthenics journey. In the beginning, it can be really overwhelming trying to design a program, so my advice is just to stick with the basics. Pull-ups, push-ups, squats, maybe dips, Australian pull-ups, and you're probably going to want to do some running in preparation for the Marines because I think you're going to have to do a lot of running uh, once that starts. Now I got to take a little issue with the way you worded your question. I'm not mean to pick on you here, but you start out by saying, I know progressive calisthenics is a long-term thing, and then the same sentence you turn right around and you're like, but I want a quick fix. I, I need a shortcut. I'm going to sneak in the back door and not really do any work. And uh, that kind of attitude never got anybody anywhere. Results are the combination of consistency and hard work. And over time, that adds up. And it's a beautiful thing. So enjoy the process. Next question comes from a user named Coca-Cola Bob, who writes, what are the benefits of doing the bridge? I can do them, but I don't really know what it does. Well, I'll tell you what it does, Coca-Cola Bob. The bridge works your calves, hamstrings, glutes, lower back, upper back, shoulders, triceps, pretty much the entire back of your body. And it's also a great mobility drill for your spine and your upper back and your shoulders. You really get a lot of bang for your buck with the back bridge. If you guys are new to bridging, make sure you check out this tutorial right here and make sure you grab a copy of my book, Pushing the Limits. I'll put the link down there in the description and uh, make sure you're getting those bridges in because they're awesome. You can do them for reps. You can hold them as a you know, isometric static hold and it's just such a great exercise and it doesn't need any equipment at all. Last question for the day comes from Carlos Palacios who writes, hey Al, great videos. I have a question regarding handstands. I'm able to hold a handstand against the wall while facing the opposite side of the wall for about a minute, but when trying the free variation, I never seem to get the kick up correctly. Any advices would be appreciated. Huge respect to you, Al. Huge respect right back to you, Carlos. Thanks for the comment. As far as the freestanding handstand goes, you're going through something that everybody goes through when they're new to this. It's easy to watch a video like this one right here, and you see the progression up from a wall handstand all the way to a freestanding handstand push-up, and it goes by in like a minute and a half, and you're like, okay, this is easy. I'm just going to boom, 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 go through this progression and nail it. But then, of course, the reality is it takes a ton of practice, and it gets frustrating, and you're like, oh, why aren't I getting this? Well, everybody who can do a freestanding handstand goes through that process, and the ones who eventually get good at it are the ones who don't give up. Having said that, you know, if you come to one of my workshops, we may be able to give you some cues that are going to help you improve your technique a little quicker. But once again, there is no, you know, quick fix. There is no way to just magically get this move without putting in the time and being consistent. And anyone who can do a freestanding handstand had to put in that work too. And that's kind of the beauty of it all is you can't fake this stuff. If you put in the work, you get the results. If you're not willing to put in the work, you're very unlikely to get any sort of significant result. That's all the time I have for today, but before I sign off, I just want to thank you guys for all the positive support I've been getting about Ask Al. You guys have been leaving me so many awesome comments and so many awesome questions, and I'm doing my best to get to the ones that seem to come up the most. So uh, if I haven't gotten to your question yet, make sure you continue to leave me comments down there. Continue to share this on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, email to your friends. You know the deal. Keep showing support. Till next time, I'm Al Cavadlo and we're working out.